I was a sergeant in the Metropolitan Police and had the joy of leading the commercial vehicle unit for 10 years. It needs to be remembered that each incident affects numerous people, not just the individuals hurt or worse. It's the individual, it's the family, it's the driver and the driver's family if involved. It's people who witness the event, it's the employer, um, and it's the first responder. I was driving through Whipswich on a busy road and literally little boy probably about three or four just walked straight out in between two cars and yeah just locked up all the brakes possibly a week to two weeks after I went back to being a carpenter probably won't get in a lorry ever again <laughs> In December 2014, I was cycling to work and I had a really serious crash with a skip lorry. Um, my recovery was, was a, a really, really long one. I was in hospital for six months, so three months on the trauma ward and then three months um, learning to walk again. The reason clocks exist is because HGVs and construction vehicles are disproportionately involved in fatal and serious collisions. So if all construction were signed up to clocks, there'd be a huge number of lives that would be saved and also a lot of people that would be saved um, serious injury as well. Well, we, we were together for 43 years um, and I miss her every day. She'd been so badly damaged when the vehicle ran over her that, you know, I, it was not, not advisable and, and, and obviously I accepted that it was just not possible for me to go and see see her. How do you tell your kids something like that, you know? Please sign up to clocks. It's an obvious improvement and it will save a lot of lives.